Yo, 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 you're watching Day Day's Gameplay, and I'm your host, Day Day. Today, we're going to be breaking down yet another video to help you guys achieve the ultimate goal. More kills, more wins. All right, so me and my buddy Trask have a bounty on this guy. My buddy Trask is currently in the gulag rip, and I'm, I'm running this building because I've just been engaged, and I'm going around and getting all the chests up so this way I don't have any extra sound. I need a sound whore for this particular environment. I got two people for sure pushing me, and one of them is our bounty. And I'm not about to become the hunted when I'm the hunter. You know what I'm saying? Moving forward. So I hear the guy pushing up, trying to triangle it where it's at. As soon as I'm able to triangle that, I aim in that direction. I go ahead and pre-aim and pre-fire. He comes sliding through. I just track him, missing a few shots, but it's okay because I was able to get the first shot on him. I was able to track him because of the pre-fire and pre-aim. So whenever you get a chance to pre-fire, pre-aim, definitely make sure you're taking up on it. Even if you're wrong in the position that they're at, you know, you're know you off a little bit or they're not even there, it doesn't matter. No harm, no foul, because what you don't want to do is not pre-aim and pre-fire when you should have. So it's better to do it, you know, better safe than sorry is what I'm getting at. So... Perfect example right here. This guy is down. I know his teammate is coming. I am almost out of plates. And I need a plate up. By almost out of plates, I mean I have one plate left. And I got a plate and a half that down from what he took off. I don't even know if I worded that right. Man. Moving forward. So, I get out of dodge. Notice that I switched weapons. I knew that my gun was empty. And if I go for a reload, I can't slide cancel around. I've learned that the hard way. So that's that's the biggest tip for this one, other than you down somebody, leave them, right? Is if you're out of ammo and one of your guns, just switch. Even if it is the biggest LMG in the world, you can at least run with this so you can slide cancel. Whereas if you're reloading a gun, you can't. That animation prevents you from doing it. And even if you do stop the animation so you can run, as soon as you go and engage somebody, you can't because you're out of ammo. So now, oh, so now I'm able to engage when I need to, which is with an assault rifle. So I immediately come around the corner. I, I don't have time to plate. The line of sight, I can't break it long enough in case he comes around. So it's it's do or die, right? So I got to turn around and engage, and that's exactly what I do. Instead of him pushing, he starts throwing grenades. So I just go ahead and step around and reload a gun. I hear him pop the res, which is something he shouldn't have done. And I go ahead and challenge and push. He thinks that I'm back in that corner when actually I went to the right of the beam. We'll rewind that one more time just so y'all can see that. Well, hold on. So he thinks I'm going to be coming straight ahead when in fact I'm going to go to the right. See, he's looking to the left of that beam. I give him a quick jump shot to throw him off so I can get... I need to get more targets on uh, center mass, chest, and above, specifically the head. That's the reason for the jump shot in this one because I'm all, I am all—I couldn't play it up. And I give him another jump shot and I get the kill. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one.